Hi guys, today I'm gonna unveil some technical uh, details of our new product, Storefront Cloud. You can find uh, marketing information and the offer on the storefrontcloud.io. Storefront Cloud is a cloud solution for mobile first e-commerce based on Vue Storefront PWA technology. Um, so let's just take a look how it works and how it's uh, designed. You can find the technical documentation on help.storefrontcloud.io. I will use this page to display the architecture. So the service is based on Kubernetes. So uh, when you register on storefrontcloud.io, you will get the beta access, including um, two Kubernetes namespaces. One is for the production page, second is for test development uh, site connected to two uh, git access repositories. We are creating the git lab access to our users on code storefront cloud IO, which is our code access portal. And you have here um, your front instance and your view storefront API instance included. You can modify uh, the code you can just ch check it out on your computer, share with your development team, edit any you know, UI or API services you like, comment the changes, and then very easily deploy it to your infrastructure. The infrastructure is managed by the CLI tool called Storefront Cloud CLI. You can find it on our um, GitHub namespace Storefront Cloud. Using Storefront Cloud CLI, you can um, do some basic stuff like displaying your services that are running on our infrastructure. You can um, deploy the code. Here you have some screens how it looks like. You can um, import, export, Elasticsearch, data stores, basically manage your whole view Storefront um, installation. Okay, so let's take a look how it's uh, how to use the Storefront Cloud CLI on some real life example. We'll be um, trying to deploy our demo site, demo.storefrontcloud.io. This instance is connected to our Git repository demo dot dash uh, storefront cloud dash io. So I have all the source code here. I can modify any files I like using this GitLab interface or uh, Visual Studio Code on my uh, local clone. So let's say I like to um, modify. some product page you can just go to demo storefront cloud io src teams i'm using the default team we have also amp team for google amp renderer uh, pages and the product page. The GitLab interface uh, works like more or less GitHub Enterprise. So a lot of cool features are here like pull requests, merge requests, uh, issues, tracker, everything. So you can um, add your developers to this project we are uh, providing you with and start just using it as a main uh, repository for your project. Um, everything is included, so we are free to go with this repo. You can also, of course, export all the information and uh, synchronize it with your local instance as well. So here is the product page. Um, let's say I would like to add something like the uh, adding some very simple change, SKU uppercase 
I can come in this change. And now I'm good to go with um, doing the deploy. So I need to use my storefront CLI too. The installation is very easy. You just clone the repository. So you can go to GitHub and uh, clone this repository. And then you are, of course, doing some yarn install to download all the dependencies and you are free to go. So first thing is to connect to your uh, namespace, your Kubernetes namespace. So we are doing something like node uh, scripts CLI JS uh, setup and here you have some questions first is if you like to use your existing Kubernetes config file uh, we are providing our users with uh, kube config file kube config is used to connect to Kubernetes cluster to your namespace as I already have it um, set up, I will just answer yes, I would like to use my existing Kubernetes file, which is here. Uh, do I have the kubectl installed? Yes, I have it. So this is my path. And my uh, namespace. My namespace is demo store from cloud io. Here is the list of my PODs. POD is a uh, Docker container. So we, I have Elasticsearch, Nginx, Redis, and VueStorefront and, and View Storefront API services up and running. So I <clears throat> introduced the change to VueStorefront uh, frontend. So what I need to do is to execute the deploy uh, command on the VueStorefront uh, instance. Here in the help storefront cloud IO, you can find uh, the documentation. So for example, first deployment, here we have the whole um, process described in very details. What I need to do is just execute this command. So I'm executing deploy on my front end instance. It's taking a few minutes because it uh, requires this storefront to be recompiled. In the meantime, the, uh, uh, the uh, POD is being just rebuilt. You can check the build progress using the build logs command, which will just display the output from yarn build command with stuff for instance. So oh, it seems that it's ready. So I can check my PODs. All I have the running state, which means that they are up and running. So I can go to the, to the browser, refresh the page, and check if my change has been applied. I change this SKU to be uppercase. So let's just take a look at it. This one, yeah, it seems like all the changes have been have been applied, so it's good. Good. Uh, CLI tool has some other cool features, so you can, for example, uh, exec the PM2 process manager to monitor the application. So, if you like to, for example, check the API. You are running something like this, PM2 monit, POD uh, equals API. Here you have memory usage, the logs, everything seems like works just fine. Uh, we are now open for the uh, invitation only uh, beta access. So if you are interested in getting the hands-on experience with Storefront Cloud, 
feel free to go to storefrontcloud.io and contact us using the contact form and we will prepare some test instances for you. Uh, we, are, we are having pretty interesting partner program for agencies, so feel free to run your access program in parallel to discussing the commercial opportunities as well. Thanks a lot. Be with us on Viewstore from Journal, on Medium. Um, more changes and more new releases to come in the following weeks. Thanks.